Welcome to Talking Beards, an entertainment news podcast all about the facial hair lifestyle and the people who use their beards and mustaches to help change the world. Join your hosts, World Goatee Champion Aaron D. Johnston and two-time National Goatee Champion Scott Sakura as they talk about all the important issues in the community from charity events, competition news, styling tips, breaking news, and much more. Tune in every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern as we stream live on all social media platforms as well as TalkingBeards.com and answer all of your questions. Join in our chat room and be a part of the show each week as we give away great prizes, compliments of Honest Amish. I am your host, Aaron D. Johnston, and I am Scott Sakura, and we are Talking Beards. Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Oh, my gosh. My gosh. Super weird. I'm just blowing microphones out. Blown. What's up, everybody? And Kara's here. And we, don't, here. we don't even need to call her. Oh, hey. So, uh, yeah, this is episode number 233 of the live show. Nope, of the podcast. What Ooh. episode is this? 156 of the live show. Busey's. Busey's. What's up, Ruby? Uh, yeah, so we're together, and this is strange. We can do like the What Up Mob Wednesday guys and be like, hey, how's it going? And, and But we can actually see each other. So, uh, yeah. There'll probably be some technical difficulties tonight because Scott doesn't generally have a, a multiple person setup, but we're gonna we're gonna power through it and we get through it. So uh yeah, I'm Aaron D. Johnston. I'm in Texas with Scott Sakura, the beardcaster, Texas Studios. My gosh, like seeing his setup down here Dylan has just Davis, wow, absolutely making it feel like a kindergartner set up my setup and they can <laughs> <laughs> there's like crayons holding my microphone together and stuff and this is the most impressive i have this looking setup he has grass grass he has grass up there there's grass back there there's grass ah, everywhere there's grass everywhere so get ready for an exciting episode tonight so uh yeah who are you i am scott sakura hello everyone uh, you can find out more information about me by going to at Scott's Cora on Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, wherever. But, uh, we want you to go over to talkingbeards.com and you can find out more information about the show by going there. And also if you would really feel so inclined, you can go over to honestamish.com. Yeah. If you are on an incline. You no, can buy some beard oil. No, not on an incline. Inclined, as oh. in like you prefer like, oh, I feel like I'm going to get some beard oil today. So I'm going to go to honestamish.com and type in promo code talking beards and I will save 15% off your order. But only if you're <laughs> on an escalator. If you're in. Yeah, you're going <laughs> uphill. So oh dumb. Gosh. So dumb. So what else is going on? So <laughs> we're here. Yeah, we went to the, uh, so tonight, this is what we did tonight. Oh yeah. Tonight's episode got all kinds of crazy. Yeah. (laughs) So we, uh, we went to, uh, the cracker barrel where I got accosted by the waitress who would not let me, she was giving me the hardest time because I ordered sweet, you know, unsweet. It was hilarious. Yeah. Who orders unsweet tea? I mean, you're in Texas. What's a, what's a Texas tan, Josh? Texas tan. Scott has a Texas tan. Bullface Josh. I know. Oh, look at Whoa. that. Whoa. Whoa. I've shown too much arm there. Yeah, he is. Hey, yeah. Sun's out, guns out. But yeah, so we went to the uh, Cracker Barrel for dinner tonight. The girls got pancakes. <laughs> we did. We went to Cracker Barrel. Oh. And it was hilarious. I've never, uh, I don't know, maybe, but definitely not at a Cracker Barrel had a waitress just straight up just. Totally diss on somebody. Totally diss on their their customer. <laughs> it was awesome. I loved like, it. She, I asked for iced tea. Number one, I didn't even get ice in it. It was just tea. Oh well, yeah, because you didn't get sweet tea. So she was oh. like, "Oh, I don't know what to do. Does this guy even want ice? I don't know." Yeah. Wait. What? What crap of what kind of crap is unsweetened tea? It's yeah, it's right. Tea. No, it's crap. Exactly what Jake Johnson said. It's crap. Yes. Hey, Crystal Davis. So I ordered the the sweet tea or unsweetened tea, and she's like, "You're not from around here, are you? Where are you from?" And you're like, "Ohio." And she was like, 
figures. Roll Tide. Yeah, Roll Tide. <laughs> That's what she said. And then and Texas. as we were leaving, I, I, I picked up my tea and I was taking a sip out of it. And she yells across the uh, room. She goes, why don't you go back to Ohio? You stupid <laughs> idiot. And then she knocked the table over. Yeah, and she threw a bunch of salt packets at mm-hmm. me and stuff. It was ridiculous. It was hilarious. That's what that's it. what you find at the uh, the Cracker Barrel in Buda, Texas. So if you guys are uh, looking for a fun time, head up there. It, it was a fun time. I enjoyed myself. We have Monty here with us too. There's a whole bunch of people that are in here right now that we got to spend the weekend with. Um, I had a really good conversation with Cajun Meyer in Austin. Oh. I don't know if you know this, but he he got into the beer community because he stumbled across an uh, Talking Beards post on Facebook. Uh oh! And then he started watching our show. Then he started watching Matt's show. And then, unfortunately, he stumbled across that Wednesday show. Oh! And he was like, "Oh, I guess I'm gonna be a mob person." And he was like, "Mob, mob, 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 whatever. mob. Everyone's mob." No, it was super cool. I, I had no idea that you know that we led Cajun into the community, and and that's super cool. And now he's a whaler. See, team unsweetened tea, Mister Choate. That was good. It was good. He's, it was good seeing you. He's from. Basically, Canada's too, like Andrew. So it's that's like anything the, above the uh, Mason Dixon line yeah. is Canada. <laughs> so Eric Schott lives in Canada. Yeah. Wow, so, Monty. And so we also have a uh, uh, producer, Natalie. She's in here with us. Oh, hey. <laughs> There's a desk over here. And Natalie's like, no, I don't want to sit, just at gonna the sit on the floor. Sit on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yeah. So, uh, uh, and, and as a preface to tonight's show, we uh, we had a guest, uh, Mike uh, Scoggin was supposed to be on, but uh, he had some uh, some stuff come up at the last second, and uh, he's not going to be joining us tonight, but uh, we will talk about uh, the event that they're, what? We're going to do our best to talk about the event. Yeah, we're going to, they're, they're, unfortunately, which was one of the reasons why we wanted to have Mike on was because there's really not a lot of information online that we can find. I mean, like literally it's really outdated stuff, but uh, not a lot of information out there about this competition that's going on in Fort Worth this weekend, which is where Aaron and Natalie are headed to this weekend. So we thought we would have Mike on so we could get a little bit more information for the people that were in the area. Uh, and you know, Natalie is so cute. Yeah, she is. But uh, oh, not Natalie's cute. Not me. That's not very nice. It doesn't say anything about Scott being cute. <laughs> no, whatever. Um, but oh, Cajun says he forgot to uh, go to the Voodoo Donuts on the Sixth Street. Uh, I went. Oh, that's a funny story. That's a good story. <laughs> yeah. So we were Natalie and I were out just cruising around. I think Andrew and and Kara was with us. I do believe we went to eat, and Scott was at work. And this was what Friday, Thursday. Thursday night. Thursday. So we were driving around and he's like, Hey, when I get off work, just let me know and or you know, I'll I'll let you know or whatever. And then he's like, Where are you headed? So we we're headed to Voodoo Donuts. He's like, Well, I'm downtown. I was like, All right. So we went to Voodoo Donuts and then I took a picture and sent it to him and got my donuts and got in the car. We no more got back to the hotel than I got a selfie from Scott from Voodoo Donuts. It's like where are you guys? Where the F are you guys? I was like, we just got back to the hotel. Where are you? He's like, I was trying to surprise you. Yeah. No, nope, yeah. didn't work. Yep. So, but surprise. You, but you got there. your you got your donut though. <laughs> I did. I've been to Voodoo Donuts twice. What in, do- in the last four days? What is the donut you get? <laughs> so, is there a specific donut you get? So, pardon me. I used to always get the loop. It was a white chocolate or frosting donut with fruit it, loops on it oh i thought it was like a loop like no, a loop loop. fruit loops that's the loop um maybe they got in trouble like a copyright thing for using fruit loops without permission or something like that or they just decided to stop doing it i don't know i harassed their instagram pretty much daily asking for my donut back and <laughs> they've never told me anything um but now i get the dirt which is like basically the same donut but it has oreos on it instead of uh, fruit loops um, they've got one with Captain Crunch on it. It's super good. And uh, I got the Homer donut for the first time, and it was extremely good. <laughs> unsweetened donuts. <laughs> unsweetened donuts. Um, You must not be from around here. Oh, that's what they say. You know, if you get unsweetened donuts, you must be from Ohio and be South bald, Carolina. Bald faced Josh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, pretty much everything I've gotten from there um, has been really good. Natalie and I got, I don't know for the best words to put this, a uh, 
male genitalia shaped donut. And uh, it took up an entire box. And yep. Oh, oh, yep. It was one of those. But so we got it. It was extremely good size. And we, Whoa. we, we cut the uh, shaft part off and ate it. And then the circular parts at the other end of the donut were cream filled. We cut those in half and we ate those as well. That is disgusting. It was awesome. And that's what I call a sticky sticky situation. situation. (laughs) That's what I was trying to think of at dinner tonight. Like we were talking and like, I was like, someone said something and I'm like, what was that line? What was that line? And I couldn't remember it. God. Hey, remember that time tonight when we were eating dinner and then I was able to get all the the pegs on that pegboard thing, but you couldn't, and it said that you were an ignoramus. Yeah. So if anyone has gone to uh, Cracker Barrel, you know they have those dumb little peg games on they the table. Are not dumb. The triangle one, you know, and you're supposed to leave. It has one peg open, and you're supposed to hop them. And if you leave, whatever. So mm-hmm. I did it, and I got four left. It said I was extremely intelligent. It said ignoramus is what it said. Yeah. The pen, the the, what is that? The pen 15 donut. There That's we go. Basically, there you go. We had a pen 15 donut, but uh, yeah. So, uh, I and then Aaron got one left, which says you're really dumb and mm-hmm. said you are the smartest person alive. You here, you can order sweet tea, sweet, <laughs> but I did not order water. But uh, yeah, so honestly, uh, other than uh, the voodoo donuts thing, I mean, that that was part of this weekend. Um, as we said, you know, we're, we're, we're so as we're discussing about our guest not showing up tonight okay. and uh, we were kind of uh, trying to figure out something like literally within the past 15 minutes before the show was going on and uh, decided that, oh, you know what? There was a best in show at this last weekend's competition, and we spent the weekend with them, so why not have Mr. Jason Schaefer um, from Minnesota uh, on with us? And thankfully, as he was telling us as we were pre-talking to him earlier in the show, he is stuck indoors because they are having a snowstorm there right now. And we are too. It's only like 62 degrees 62, here, right? but when they got here, it was oh. my thermometer said 90, so... But now we're in like a cold front. I know, cold front coming Ooh. through. You guys brought the cold weather coming in. Cajun says the highlight of his weekend was meeting Andrew Matson. Wow. He says, oh, wow. He's my half beard. Can we ban him from the show? Mm, no. Andrew or Cajun? Cajun. Mm, no, they're both all right. Oh, Schaefer says six degrees six. now. That's six degrees. That's Six. almost Kevin Bacon. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kevin Bacon at Jason's house. Wow. What else we got going on? So, well, I mean, let's see. We can, why, oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh. You know what uh, we we have going on here because. So uh, we do have breaking news. We, I did make a post and it was for real. We have breaking news. Oh, my gosh. Breaking. Breaking news live on Talking Beards. It is six degrees in Canada. Six degrees in Canada. So, um, yeah, so we got some breaking news. I don't really know exactly how we're going to talk about this, but let's just just get into it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Yeah, so everybody knows about Worlds 2023 was going to be in New Zealand, and then it got moved to 2025. Breaking news, New Zealand's just not going to happen. But it's, it's over. So... We're going to go back to having worlds in 2023, but it is to be determined still. So if you are part of the World Beard Mustache Association, you should definitely check your email. And uh, if not, uh, reach out to me, Brian Nelson or whatever, and uh, we'll get you pointed in the right direction if you have not received an email. But we're basically i think they're kind of looking for someone to host worlds i, I think that's kind of what they're doing here so yeah it's 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 really turning into a last minute kind of thing because it's usually pre-planned out at the previous event uh where they determine where the following competition is going to be at and since uh the uh new zealand competition could not happen last was it last year yeah right? so new yeah. zealand so oh yeah so it was 20 no yeah right 20. so 21 was new zealand yeah and then it got moved to 23 yeah and then that that's it yeah so, so and then england's 25 still but. yeah so it's kind of like a domino effect where everything just kind of falls and new zealand's borders are still closed that's that's it's still closed and so how are they going to start planning for worlds if people can't even come yeah so if you guys really want to kind of keep up to date you can either go to as what we're showing here is the uh, world beard and mustache association.org 
Or if you guys want to sign up, you can go over to uh, beardteamusa.org and sign up on their list. Um, the, I'm sure there'll be information that they send out of their monthly newsletter, which uh, we do recommend that everyone goes over and signs up for that because I thought I had a thing. For it's right that. there. Right here. Right here. Yeah. Click it right there. Bingo, bingo. Sign up for Beard Team USA newsletter by going to beardteamusa.org slash subscribe. Yeah, we'll leave that on the bottom right now. 2023 20, worlds at the Cracker Barrel. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody has to order sweet tea, though. That's that's the rule. Unsweetened tea. No, that's not here. But, yeah, so that's kind of unfortunate news. We were all kind of sort of thinking that maybe it was going to happen. Well, it's officially happened. So Wow, the basement of the Alamo is another good location. So hopefully someone uh, that kicked around the idea of hosting Worlds in 2017. I think there was like seven, eight, eleven something clubs. Uh, that's where New Zealand got the the bid. So hopefully one of those clubs wants to host it. If not, I don't know. We'll just host it here. Yeah, right. We'll, <laughs> we'll have it right down the street, the Cracker Barrel. Yeah, there you go. So, or we could have it at Pinballs, which if you guys get a chance, there's a really cool like. Uh, I don't know how to really explain it. It's like a, a they do have a ton of pinball games there, but it's like a adult. Like Dave and Buster's or whatever adult pinball. So there's like naked ladies no, in the pinball adult machine. Dull pinball. Like there's just their rounded edges. They're not sharp. Oh right, yeah, that's, um, that's the best kind. But yeah, oh, and and don't forget the Great American June, June 25th. 25th. Where's that at? It is going to be in Snowbird, Utah. <gasps> yeah, so it, that's official. Yeah, David that's, Ludwig, look at his idea. Cruise ship worlds. Cruise ship worlds. Wow. There you go. You were talking about getting rowboats earlier. Yeah, we no, all, all, kayaks at the same Cabela's. Thing, same thing. We <laughs> can all get kayaks. Kayak worlds at Cabela's. Yeah, so that we, all these ideas, we're just, I know, coming up with so them. many great ideas. I mean, and there's like a ton of hotels right here. Like, I mean, this is the prime location for worlds. I mean, even though it was in Austin a few years ago, why not? It we're be, not, we're not here. We're yeah, not, we're in, not Austin. in Austin. So we're like way far away from Austin. David Ludwig is going to have a cruise ship and snowbird. Wow. I don't know how he's going to do that. David Ludwig is going to drive a cruise ship to snowbird. He's going to bang his drums too. Wow. Oh man. I went there. Gosh. So yeah. So what else we got? So we got Jason Schaefer coming on and we're going to do our best to talk about this <laughs> North Texas bearded villains event. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get to that a little bit later. Um, but we do have uh, some information on that. Um, and we'll point you in the direction of how to possibly get more information on it. Uh, like I said, it's, it's real slim pickings when it comes to information about that event and why we wanted to have um, Mike on to talk about it. So, but uh, why not just bring on? There's a guy that we're gonna have. Where is he at? This is gonna be so this is so super good, amazing. So yeah. So I, if I'm, you were in Austin this weekend, there's there's a dude that's been around the community for a while, and and he's always super oh, nice to everybody. And he got a extremely well deserved weekend. And let's just bring him on and talk all about it. This guy right here. This guy right here. He he was most excited about that honest Amish box. You could tell. He was He's like, like, oh this my ribbon's God. stupid, but this honest oh. Amish box is where it's at. Look how big that smile is on that face. We're gonna really find out what what he was feeling when he was awarded this. I mean, I've never gotten to win a best in show, but I could only imagine it's pretty, pretty awesome. So here it is. is. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, it's fine. Jason Schaefer. Hello. Oh my gosh. You, you could have wore all your crowns. He probably has on his them all on his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's so cool. What's up, buddy? Are you uh are you still on cloud nine, as the kids say? Mostly. Uh little less so having to shovel my driveway this afternoon, but uh wow. uh, Austin that, uh, Austin didn't send anybody up there to shovel your driveway for you. No. What a rip off. We need to talk to Mr. Brian T. Nelson to I find know. out what the heck is going on. I thought that was part of the deal. You'd like, all right, I want best in show. I'm going to come shovel your driveway now. Brian T. Nelson really <laughs> dropped the ball on this one. Wow. <sighs> I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe Crystal can come, come <laughs> shovel it for you. So, Broken foot and all. 
Okay, so let's let's take a few steps back here. Tell us a little bit about who you are and where you're, what club you represent, because you are you're way up there in the Great White North almost. And uh, yeah, but, I'm yeah. Uh, Jason ahead. Schaefer. I'm uh, the treasurer of the Minnesota Beard and Mustache Coalition, and uh, been competing since 2016. And uh, yeah, went to an event, didn't know anyone, and discovered that everyone was super nice, and just started. Coming around, met uh, Aaron for the first time at uh, 2016's uh, Great American in, mm -hmm. in, in Denver. Denver. And yeah, just started getting to know people uh, slowly but surely. And then, you know, who surely decided that I uh, really loved going to these competitions. And it was such a it's a such a cool way. It's basically the reason why I travel. Otherwise, I, I'm a bit of a homebody. Uh, so it kind of gets me out and about. Yeah. So I was trying to reflect upon like when we first met, we met in Chicago for the, Tim I think Park so. Yeah. In event. person for the first time. Yeah. Yeah. So that was really cool. So what got you involved in the whole bearding thing? Like where, where did you discover it? How did you find it? Where did literally, you... I just saw that uh, the Minnesota bearded must uh, was called the Minneapolis bearded mustache club at the time uh, posted that they were having an event a competition i'm like hmm i have a pretty good beard i should just go and see what it's all about and i went and didn't know really anybody and uh had a blast and met a you know some people from the area there and it's like hey i think i'll start coming to the meetings and then yeah just got involved from there had did you meet that time. did you meet that superstar mj guy what's his name M yeah met M him uh met jamin g MG. MG, mm -hmm. like the car. Oh, yeah. He's got that beard that goes like this. Yeah. It goes, I, and he walks around like him, he, wears, yes. he wears his silly glasses, and he's like, ooh. What about that Andrew Matson cat? He watches this show. I met him, I think, up in uh, Thief River Falls for the first time. Wow. You kiss your mouth with that mouth? There. And uh, that's back when he had a, uh, a full beard. What? He was full beard for a second. Not yeah, weird. and and then we're like, mm, no, yeah, just you be need, a goatee. You need to shave that right. that scr scraggly scruff. All four on the hairs on your cheeks. Go ahead and shave those. Why off. aren't you a goatee? Let's really dive into this conversation. Yeah, it doesn't I'm need a, to be. I do uh, pretty well with. Oh wow! Wow! That's a best oh, in show. Oh, cocky. I'm best in show. I I don't need to stoop to your level. <laughs> you know there really are a bunch of great partial uh freestyle beards out there so there and, are and yeah. jason schaefer beat them all this weekend he beat every single Brooks one of them and cardi with his wow. um parts hanging out the bottom of his dress all weekend yeah i uh uh there there may be a couple of pictures out there with a look of just complete surprise on my face uh so i know those guys have been in the game freestyling for a long time and uh I still consider myself uh, kind of a newbie in freestyling, but uh, did it kind yeah. of look like this? Is this how shocked you were? More shocked than that. Wow, that's pretty. <laughs> there, shocked. there, I think I look just tired after <laughs> everything. <laughs> but look at the, the now. Let's look, kind of analyze this beard a little bit. There is some nice, and I remember when you walked into the event, and I was like, "Wow, Jason, that was beautiful." I'm like. You had excellent symmetry. Your lines were really nice. And I know you were, you still weren't done tidying it up because, you know, you kind of have to like wait till right before you go on to like really clean yeah. it up to make sure it looks really good. But when you got there and you saw your competition, how are you feeling? It's, it's always nerve wracking. Uh, Cause everybody's, you know, brings it. And so, you know, I'm always nervous whenever I compete. You, you never know what the judges are looking for. Uh, so it's it's always a, a, a bit of nerves for me whenever I'm up there, even if I think I, I've done something pretty cool. Where did the idea come for this design? Um, I just took some stuff that I normally do, but I wanted to, to do – I always try to uh, not do exactly the same thing. So I wanted to, you know, for this ad – add a few things. Um, and it's, for me, it's always, uh, it kind of comes out in the process of actually doing it. So, um, I'm, n I never quite know exactly what's going to happen until I start 
freestyling. I like the bottom of it where the the loops kind of went through. Yep, that's that's something like, that's uh, that that's one of those pieces that I I'm becoming more and more consistent with is is kind of the loop inside the loop. I think it's a great look. I can kind of see some inspiration of like I'm, I'm seeing. Uh, definitely some kind of Kennedy in there a little bit. <laughs> not taught, not from, not from MTV, you idiot. Oh, like John F. Kennedy. Yes. Looks little, just like, just a little bit. Just like, yes. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my God. So Kennedy from MTV. Yeah. Or Kennedy. From Fox news. Kennedy. Yeah. That well, that's the same one. Now. What? Oh my God. Are and you serious? Was, he was super relieved when he showed up and saw his competition. Winning is a lot of pressure and stress. I didn't need that. Yeah, and you didn't have any of that pressure this weekend. You're welcome. Yeah, we really. I just was telling everybody, to goatee to was the most stacked category of the night. It was this category. Yeah, yeah, Scott wasn't even in that picture yet. You were still wandering around. I didn't even realize James was going to be there. He he kind of snuck in. That was a. Uh, he's right there. I know he's there. He's the first person in the picture. He didn't even sneak in. He was there. No, because as I came into line, he was at the very end, and I was like, "Holy crap! What are you doing here?" So you snuck in. He was already there. No. So James was like, "Wow, oh, didn't even know Scott was here. He just snuck in right at the very end." That's what he said. Wow. Wow. So now what? <laughs> <laughs> so you got two tiaras. Uh, what was ever like, was Minnesota like super excited? Did you get a parade? Yeah, did you get a parade? That's what I was <laughs> the sled dog, the sled dogs were like running down the street and they had like tiaras on and <laughs> no, no, it was, uh, you know, kind of once I got back, it's, it's, it's all, uh, introvert time for me. So, oh, so you're not going to even get like a huge article written in the Minnesota like times or whatever, like the local newspaper. Should Probably we call not. people? We should call them right now. <laughs> the, <laughs> the editor in chief for the Minneapolis, the Minneapolis well, Star Tribune. All right. We're well, going to, we're going to get you on the front page. Wow. With, with uh, this picture right here. This is it. Front page. <laughs> local man <laughs> wins beard contest in Teha. <laughs> and he has two tiaras. Wow. I do. And so, I and I discovered that actually that they're different sizes. The the uh see here's the 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 daytime one and then the, the nighttime one's a, a little bit uh wow Dude, flashy. Those things are super cool. Yeah, so they, they thought of everything. They were real gold, real diamonds, real pearls in there, like they real got thousands pearl. of dollars each, I'm sure. I know. I don't know how you got home with those without getting insurance on that stuff. Yeah. That those things probably weigh a ton too. So let's talk a little bit. Let's talk a little bit about your, your time down there for the weekend. Um, now you came down and of course I, I ran into you at multiple locations doing some different things. Were you just not paying attention where you're walking or no, I was like, Ooh, and then all of a sudden Schaefer, bam, we're running into him and he's got a cigar in his mouth. Look at that. Smoking a pancake. <laughs> Jason Schaefer. Uh-huh, see? I like the smokes. I like the pancakes. Let's do it all together. Remember that time that uh I don't have pancakes? many vices at all, but every once in a while I like a good cigar. So let's t- let's talk about that a little bit because of course there's some really cool uh uh cigar bars here down in Austin area called the Cigar Vault. There's a uh a one down in right outside of downtown Austin, and then there's one in Buda, <laughs> which is where I live. Um, or Jeff Ray hangs out all the time, but, uh, He's the mayor. he is the mayor, but, uh, yeah. So I've, I've hung out there a few times with Jeff, great place and everything like that. So talk, let's talk about that. Let's talk about how you ended up getting, like you said, one of your little vices that, you know, you don't really have many, but that's one of them. How did you get involved in the whole cigar lifestyle? Yeah. It's just, I had a, a roommate that every once in a while would have a cigar. I'm like, yeah, sure. And I just, once I get into something, like I go all the way. So I bought this big humidor that looks kind of like a, a wine cooler that can hold a bunch of cigars. It's a little tough in Minnesota because uh, I don't smoke inside the house. So I really only have like about four or five good months of, of c- cigar smoking unless I want to go to a shop. Um, are there are there a lot of shops up there or not? Really? Yeah, there's actually quite a few. Um, oh. But uh, yeah, it's... It's a kind of fun thing and, you know, got to know Jeff 
uh, you mentioned Jeff Ray, and uh, back in 2020, I went down to the the Buda location uh, and hung out there for a little bit. You know, so yeah, it's it's one of those things. This big community. Uh, when COVID happened, Jeff started this uh, kind of cigar night over Zoom, and it was just a really cool way to keep in in contact with you know a bunch of uh, the people I care for. And then he changed the time to the same time as talking beards. Jeff Ray hates yeah. talking beards. I like that. If anyone saw little, Jim, little Jimmy was probably one of the funniest things of the whole. <laughs> I love little I, Jimmy. I, I love, love puppets. So I don't know. Dude, I wish I had a picture of little Jimmy. Oh, darn. So, uh, yeah. So what did you think about little Jimmy? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a weird dude, so I thought it was super He's, hilarious. Yeah, me oh, too. I thought he was going to say he was scared by him. Natalie was scared. <laughs> well, because little scared Jimmy was him. bigger than yeah, Natalie. She was so she like had no idea that little Jimmy was actually taller than her, and he's a puppet. <laughs> oh, yeah. So if you're commenting on the Aaron D. Johnston page or Scott C. Sakura page, go over to the Talking Beards Facebook page or YouTube page because – we don't see the comments that are on the Aaron D. Johnson or Scott score. Yeah. For some odd reason, they just don't show up. Nope, so yeah. I've, I've reset it and it still just doesn't work. So go over to the talking beards page. If you're over there commenting, we don't see you probably what John Abraham and, uh, uh sister, and my sister, Kira. polka dotted alpaca. There's a bunch of people over there. So yeah, come to the talking beards page. And yeah. Then, it's not that hard guys. It's, come on it's over. super easy. Or if you guys are uh, watching us and you don't want to participate in the chat room, you can watch us live straight over at talkingbeards.com. Yeah, you can do that. Or you can just stay where you're at. So Schaefer, what is in store for 2022 for the best in show of the, well, wait a minute. Wouldn't you be like the best in show? They call it the Texas nationals. You're the Texas national best in show winner. Wow. Yeah, it's uh I don't know yet. Uh have to figure out some of those details, hoping to do, of course, uh Great American and Nationals. Uh it, it might be just a couple of those bigger ones, still kind of feeling out uh what competitions I, I want to get to and am able to and you know, stuff like that. Uh, With, good thing one of those competitions that you decided to come to was Cassie this weekend. Pretty solid yeah. decision on your part. Yeah, it's well, this is the the Cassie competition is always uh, one for me. Like I said, I come from Minnesota, and it's uh, just really, really cold, really cold up here. And uh, it's nice to get out of uh, Minnesota in February because yeah, I need a break from the winter because it's gonna last a couple more months here. I will I will tell you though for myself when I competed in what was 2018 uh come and shave it which was come and shave it 12 uh and I won I I mean, I won the goatee category that year you were a judge I was a judge that's why you won yeah um but not no you didn't vote for me it was because you didn't beat me because you weren't competing against me that's why right um, and I, we didn't even know each other at that no, time. No, we didn't, didn't even know each other in 2018. Um, but I would say that of all my my competitions that I participated in and, and and have been graced with winning, that probably is my number one favorite one. Like to me, that meant the most because to me that felt like one of the most prestigious contests to win. I would agree with that. And like so, then he comes in the following year and he ends up winning, and then uh Matson comes in and he won too. So I mean that's kind of cool that we've all got our chances to win this. What do you oh. Andrew never won. I thought he did. No, he, he lost to Wow. Way to way to rub it in. Whoa. He lost to James McMahon. Well, you're a winner in our book. Yeah, Andrew. you won that. I mean, we love James McMahon and all, but I mean you will just say that you won did, or did they didn't and they didn't do an online one, did they? Cassie, yeah. Oh, they did. did? Oh, probably Patrick Dawson won. Oh. That, would, that would be my guess. He yeah. won pretty much all of the online goatees things. Oh, he said he won See, see, that's he what we said. Huh. Yeah, way to go, Natalie. Wow, he made us trying to Natalie. throw us under the bus and make us yeah, look like a jerk. He, he won when I did over twenty-four inches. Yeah, Natalie. Ah, oh. oh. we're not as dumb as you look, Aaron. 
Jeez. Probably. Probably. So what else you got going on, Jason? Schaefer? Yeah, what's in store for you for this year? Just, I mean, just for like today. What are you going to do today? Yeah, I'm uh, probably going to go to bed early tonight because I got to uh, get back to work tomorrow. And, and dig uh, out. I got half as much time to do everything as I normally do because I took yesterday and today off. But it's all good. It was a much needed vacation. But yeah, just going to kind of do my thing and uh, – uh, I am part. I am one of the board members of the Minnesota Beard and oh. Mustache Coalition now. So, uh, recently elected at our our uh, meeting last November. So, we're just kind of getting that going. Uh, like all the other clubs, it seems we're just kind of working on building up our membership again and trying to figure out how to kind of navigate through this COVID world as you know restrictions are increasing and then decreasing and hopefully we'll be going down more and yeah so we'll be kind of figuring that sort of thing out and yeah did y'all have y'all been having live meetings and stuff yet with the club yeah luckily we've been able to do live meetings for uh probably a, a good six months or so what know, five the or six turnout, months what have the so, turnouts looked like at your meeting? um it's been a little sparse but mm-hmm. you know our general membership has been sparse so it's it's kind of par for the par for the course you know um it was it was hard to uh um tell for this month because our monthly meeting happened to be while i was at cassie so uh wasn't able to see or talk to anyone how that one went yet well now now you have a big story to tell the club when you have a meeting what next month y'all do a monthly Yep, we do a monthly. Oh my gosh. We tend to bring bring our trophies, so I'll have to. Uh, do you think everyone's going to be so? Do you, are you going to wear your tiaras like all the time? Can you wear it? <laughs> no, to work they, they don't actually fit super well. So you can. They have tiara fitters where you can. They might have one up there in Minnesota where they. It's like you know when you go to like the jewelry store and like, oh, my ring's too small, and they oh, go nice. there and they. They have the same thing for tiaras. Mm-hmm. See, I'm not up on all that stuff. I have more research to do yet. Yeah, you need to get you a tiara fitter so you can just wear it all the time, yeah, constantly. All right, so here was here was another little fun thing. So on Sunday afternoon, we all went out and uh, well, watched you guys smoke cigars. Um, and uh, while we were there, we picked Angela and I picked up one of these really cool uh, Minnesota Beard and Mustache Coalition coins. I heard that thing cost like two hundred dollars. It was like two hundred and seventy five dollars. Wow. <laughs> it's gold plated, but you get a free ticket to fly to Minnesota oh, to get it stamped on the back right it's there. It's got an airplane ticket in it. Yeah, they actually uh, use laser engravers and write your name in there, and then they put your DNA code in there. So if something happens to you and you die, they can extract it and make a replica of you. I need one of these coins. $275. These can you That's believe a heck that? Of a deal. Yeah, well, we're thinking about doing a QR code now so that. You could just put the one code and then you could like as your medical you know information changes oh. it'll just automatically update and so like an implant know, so they the replicant implant. can really be just that much more lifelike i think this is a really good idea i think more people should get themselves cloned yeah so but in all honesty though 25 dollars. these nice that right yeah 25 dollars. is that what it was yep and we uh have uh i think we have a uh those on our uh website the mbmc.com uh so you can search for, for our merchandise there i was loud <laughs> wow. was loud so if you attend so what so what what do you do to become a coin holding member of the coalition yeah so you have to be an official member and which i believe is so there's a 50 dollar membership fee uh and also uh you have to attend i believe it's uh, four meetings, and um, I don't remember the exact number of other events that you're required to go to, so like competitions or things like that. Um, we're actually a, a, a official nonprofit, so we have a, a full set of bylaws that, that govern us, uh, which is really cool. So, um, yeah, so- it's, it's, it's all pretty legit. So basically, this is considered a meeting, too. 
This is so this is technically a meeting. So I now I have one meeting under my belt. So I'm one meeting closer to getting to be getting my coin stamped and everything. My yeah. gosh, this is so exciting. Sorry. This is definitely a meeting for sure. It is. Well, we were discussing club details. So Sounds like a meeting to me. I know, and he's the boss. He is. I've done several things with the club. Does that count? Uh oh, Natalie's Natalie said that she's done several things with the club. Does that count? Yeah, she needs to uh, uh, pay that membership fee, though. You need to pay oh, your membership fee, Natalie. Oh, snap. Uh, and uh, it's actually due by January. Oh, it's due by next January. That's fine. So hurry you, up. You've got, you've got, you got like well, that, 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 that 11 be, months. You know, resetting for the following year. So I'd have to. So hurry up and pay so you can be on the list for next year. <clears throat> All right. So what is in store for the club this year? You guys, what what's the plan for competition? What When is that? What, have you guys begun planning? Or are you talking? What's going on? Yeah, we're we're not sure about like a, a big competition. We have a bunch of kind of little uh, more pop up type ones, and then our our president Aaron Berg, he's um, he does a competition with uh, the county fair in the county that he lives at. Uh, he's done that for a few years now, and uh, so that's a uh, one that we'll plan on doing and. Uh, we haven't quite decided on on a, a full fledged competition. I think we're gonna try to like build up our membership more and kind of get more kind of of a groundwork before we uh, kind of delve into something bigger. Because you know, it you guys know how how difficult it can be to to plan a big competition, and then you know, with the changing rules and regulations. Um, you know, that we just, with our limited, uh, kind of volunteer stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, the Thief River Falls, hopefully that will be, um, coming up where we're looking at, uh, uh, so we kind of have a, a new chapter that's starting in, in, uh, Northern Minnesota. And so, um, yeah, we, we go up there and, uh, do that there's a there was a competition with a with their county fair where we've been trying to uh, get it separated from the fair so it's a, a little easier time to to kind of manage so that we're not just kind of stuck in a corner and we can have an actual can proper the competition yeah. and y'all can do whatever y'all want you don't have to yeah exactly the, exactly the guidelines of the fair but that's oh. a super great time you know we stayed at one of our members their parents property up there and just tents and, and little campers and stuff like that. And it's, uh, it's just a, a great weekend to kind of hang out. Yeah. I've, I've been looking forward to going to that. Natalie's gone a couple of times and it just, it's never worked out that I've been able to go with her and it definitely would have worked out for me to go with her this time, but yeah, you know, hopefully maybe next year or later on this year that comes together, or, you know, hopefully next year we'll see. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah. That's all I got. Yep. That's that's the, yeah. <laughs> hey, but we'll, we just want to say thank you so very much. Mm -hmm. As like you know, we we got a hold of you at the very last second, and you know we were trying to think of something really quick, and we figured you know why not talk to Jason because he has a really cool story about coming all the way down to Texas and you know doing his freestyle. Everybody's and, butt. Yep, they're dupas, Aaron. You kicked everyone's dupa. Yeah. <laughs> so good job. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Oh, also, I uh, in my Facebook memories today. Today is the day. It's what three years ago that the Waffle House incident happened. <laughs> what is the Waffle House incident? Let's hear this. So we talked about it on the show. I know we did, but for people who haven't heard about it, you can go back and listen to oh my God. from three years ago. But uh, so we were all at Waffle House. Jason was wearing a kilt. There was some crazy guy in Waffle House that did not like that Jason was wearing a kilt. And started screaming clan of none to him, chased him into the parking lot. There was a, a wiener on the window of the car. Is this when you like that maliciously was ran the guy over? This this may have been the time that Andrew and I accidentally bumped into a guy with our automobiles leaving the parking lot as he was trying to scream at Jason. Way to go, Jason. Yeah, it was all Jason's fault. Controversy yeah. follows Jason bah, wherever bah, he goes. Bah. It was all my fault. In Austin. Wow. You've always got something going on in Austin. Yeah. There's always stories from Austin. Jeez. All right. Austin so weird. Okay. So what was your weird story from this trip? Um.
Um, a weird, uh, I guess it was a little weird. You know, this was my first uh, best in show. So best that was definitely a weird experience for me. Weird. Good weird. Not, you yeah, know, definitely attacked good. by got the Waffle House weird, but way, yeah. way different weird. Cool. Yeah. Well, Jason, we want to thank you so very much for joining us. And like I said, thank you for popping in at the last second to help us out here. Uh, you're congratulations once again uh it was and it was also really great seeing you because you know, it's been a while since i think we've seen each other yeah but uh congratulations again and uh when you guys are getting ready to uh get something up and going let us know and we'll get you back on and you can tell us everything you need to tell us about what you're doing yeah and we'll make sure to get it on the beard calendar yeah the beard calendar.com it's on there if you know if you had something to be on there, it would That's be what I would there. be saying right now. If you had, yes. something. yeah, there you go. So, thank you, Jason Schaefer. We appreciate it. Thank you for being our last minute guest. You were not a, a nice problem. Thanks favorite. for having me. A delight is it the word? Thank you, buddy. All See right, ya. see it. Oh, come on. All right, that was Jason Schaefer. Was we Jason. had the Jason Schaefer. <sighs> Jason Schaefer made our show weird, according to Crystal. Did you see that? <laughs> um, Andrew said, "What? I heard a rumor that Cassie Biss." Earned him a little Jason puppet. Oh, wow. That's really cool. All right. So uh, let's talk about this competition that's coming up this upcoming weekend in Fort yeah. Worth, Texas. Yeah. Um, we don't know very much about it, but we're going to give it a shot. Yeah. We're just basically, uh, we did a search uh, for the, um, not only the, the, the Facebook event page, which there we couldn't find anything. There isn't one. There's no um, event, Facebook event page. Uh, the villains do a lot of their their event planning and stuff through chats and Instagram. So they don't they hate Facebook. Yeah, they hate it. Well, I, that's fine. Like, we we're not all big fans of it either, but it's just where the bearding community is at for us. So that's, that's right. why it just kind of works. But uh, yeah. So this is what we got uh in relation to the um event uh it says brothers the much anticipated long-awaited moment has come the return of lsv this february the north texas villains proudly present lsv5 now if we go to the uh, bearded villains website they are just getting ready to update information on lsv4 um so we didn't really have much information about what happened last year but uh this year it will be in the fort worth stockyards in true texas fashion um, six classes, six and under, six to 12, 12 and up, styled mustache, freestyle, and whiskering. They don't even have a goatee. No, no partial freestyle. Oh, partial, partial, partial beards. No partial beards. They don't all. even do whalers. Um, so I think in the bearded villains world, you can have a whaler because it's still a ear to ear beard. I think that's kind of how their bylaws are written, something like that. Like you have to have a beard that goes ear to ear. So no chops, no goatees. Yeah, so but you can have a whaler because it goes ear to ear. I really hope that I, I, like that. I, I could be wrong. I really hope that at some point we can get someone, someone in the senior uh, leadership of the Bearded Villains to kind of come on the show because I mean, there's tons of things that I have no idea about Bearded Villains. I didn't know that they were an Instagram based club until yeah. not too long ago. Yeah, so I mean, it'd be really interesting to kind of learn a little bit more about the uh, bearded villain lifestyle and culture and all those things because it's it's kind of w very rarely do we cross paths out there. I mean, and and their their probably numbers are way more bigger or way more bigger, way more bigger, way more larger uh, than we, we in the normal uh, competitive bearding community. So for the past year, they've probably been pretty comparative. Um, one of the bigger events that we have done this year was a villains event. So, I mean, but the biggest villains event and the biggest non villains event, I guess is about the same, probably like 60, 65 competitors bearding competitions have all been pretty small probably for yeah. the past two years i don't know if this well, is the new thing or if we're just you know but we I'm, just haven't come out of covid yet yeah maybe. well but it's also the mob too the mob events have been fairly fruitful as well yep. um but i don't know why i mean maybe it's just because of i have crystal davis what and, uh he said that he would be on the show and then when i talked to him in person but when i've reached out to him my messages probably just get lost since he's, you know, got like a quarter million followers. So I can't 
contact him. I, I did in person and he was very much interested in being on the show, but I can't I, you contact know him again. In fact, I, you know, I almost remember when we were at the great American in Richmond, mm -hmm. there was a huge group of huge, of huge uh, bearded villains that actually showed up to the event. And if I remember correctly, I want to say that, I don't know if it was Jimmy and I, or no, it wasn't. No, uh, Paul, you and Paul Hendricks were, interviewed. yeah, we interviewed a whole bunch of them and we were asking them some questions. Uh, and then that, that never, something got messed up with that video and it never was able to see Someone's the light of the day was messed up. Yeah. Paul's was peaking Paul's or was something. Peaking, yeah. And so every time he talked and you know, Paul yeah, Hendricks, don't, don't stop talking. So the whole, the <laughs> yeah, whole video, it's like, I remember, I remember yeah. that's what happened, but sorry, everyone. It's good. Um, I know I, I redlined my microphone right there. I feel <laughs> no stupid. So yeah, the, so if you're in the Fort Worth area this weekend, check out the stockyards at Armadillo. I think you can go to the North Texas Bearded Villains Facebook page, or you can go to their Instagram page and send them some messages, and you can just bombard them. Is and it on out the stuff. Beard Calendar? It is on the Beard Calendar. Dot com. It is on there for this weekend. Yes, Crystal. That'd be great. Yeah. If you could get us in, in like 100% contact, like with a number mm -hmm. or something, that would be great. I mean, something that's outside of the, uh, the Instagram. Uh, the ins yeah. Cause that's, Cause that's, like that's the said. only way I've been able to get a hold of him. And like I said, I talked to him in person and he was like, down, like he, he knew about the show. He wanted to do it. We, I talked to him about this very thing. Like, explain to everybody about the villains like why do y'all do things a little bit different than everybody else and he was like yeah sounds great let me know and voila can't yeah. get a hold of it. Voila. <laughs> so speaking of beard calendar we don't really have uh, there's we didn't really get a chance to go through events or anything but uh you can pull up the calendar real quick if you want oh but the, i can do really you can i mean if you want to i can what is it? The Beard Calendar. There it is. No, that, that says uh, caster. Thebeardcalendar.com. B E A R D Cal and there it is. Dar Bar. Or er. No, it's R. So yeah, calendar is spelled with an A R, not an E R, just so everybody knows. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let's get this up. Accept so them cookies. We're gonna accept cookies. Oh All the we I'm in a cookie I'm mode. Let's do it. I'm in a cookie mode here. To so Scott Sakura loves cookies now. I don't know if you know this about Scott Sakura, but he has never eaten cookies a day in his life until he moved to Texas. Yeah. So, all right. So the official beard calendar, as we're seeing, oh my God, so you, official. wait a minute. You have bots on here. What? Yeah. You have a bot. Here, That's man. me. I'm saying that. Oh, right now I'm typing. So yeah. Um, like we have on there, 226-2022, Fort Worth, Texas, LSV5. So you can go on there. There's the address for the event, 120 West Exchange Avenue, Fort Worth, Texas. I even got the zip code on there because you, know, you never know. You never know. Well, I mean, that's good to know because then people can just put it right in their GPS and they can just go and can be there. The thing is, is we don't have a time. Nope, I couldn't find, <laughs> I couldn't find a time or anything. So this was going to be part of the question and answer section of talking beards tonight with, uh, you know, Mike from North Texas, but you know, the, Oh, this is big breaking news right here. Greensboro, North Carolina, uh, Carolina, bam, got postponed. We do not have a date, but this was coming up in two weeks. It was going to be the same day as several other competitions, but you know, they just didn't have the numbers and there was some venue issues, so on and so forth. It has been postponed. So there we go. That's some big breaking news tonight as well. Yeah. And then we have a uh, mob fest five that's coming up on uh, March 5th, where we're going to be uh, seeing a couple of our bearded brothers uh, shaving off some uh, mustaches. Oh correct. My gosh. The Monty, the and big Jake, shave. They're, they're losing their mustaches. March 5th on booze back porch, 1830 Brown Lee road. Uh, are we allowed to talk about that big picture that we took or no? Cause they haven't announced it yet because they were still not done with the picture that we took with Shannon the other Correct. day. That's, so we that's can't break news for another day. Yeah. Breaking that's news probably tomorrow. We'll have to have mob guys. will get it. Well, yeah, they'll get <sighs> wait. And Shannon, we want, we want the uh, coverage of that. We want when you're ready to talk about it. Yeah. We need the scoop scoop. All right. So scroll down a little bit more. Also on three, five, this is a busy day in the beard world. As you can see, uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, the fifth 
annual Bachfest Beard Baron competition. This is not going to be their normal competition that happens, what, op- October there in Newport, Kentucky? Uh, this is a different one that they've been doing for the oh, past few years. Yeah, yeah. I've 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 caught wind of this a few times. Yeah, you they've broke been... wind at this event. I'm not talking to you. Anymore. Oh my gosh, Scott's over here farting. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the the Facebook uh, event page is there. You can click on it and and get all the news and information that you need right there off of the calendar. Um, then it looks like the same date in uh, Nashville is a, I'm, I'm assuming this is a bearded villains competition, uh, Nash Vegas six, uh, the three star villains. So obviously these guys have been uh, throwing a uh, bunch. I mean, they've been throwing a continuous competition for the past six years, or this is their six one, not in a row, but they've thrown six of these events. So as you can see, uh, if you go to uh, threestarvillains.bigcartel.com, you can find out more information about that. And then, what else? Yeah, also on 3.5, the Mr. Furface Beard and Mustache State Beard Championships is coming back to Anchorage, Alaska. I wonder if Beans is going to be there. Probably. Maybe Bang. Beans, is in, Beans is in Florida right now, I think. Ooh. I think they're still in Florida. I saw a selfie with them with Bucky the other B- day. Busey? Busey's. But yeah, so this is a, a very long running competition. Uh, probably one of the longest it's in like the country. twenty hours. It's no, I was talking about the how long it's been a competition. Oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah, so uh, I know the uh, Pelam Palomino Whiskerino. I think that's right. It's in California. I think they're on like the sixtieth or something like that. Uh, this one. Probably about the same, 50, yeah. 60. It's, it's been going on for quite some time. Yeah. We, in fact, it was funny because when I was, we were with Crystal this weekend um, and on sa- Sunday when we were at um, the Cigar Vault with Jason, we were talking about um, th- the long running competitions and stuff like that. And she was discussing how that one that, uh, in her town or around her has been going on for all those years. Yeah. So what else? So this, this will be the last one. Well, yeah. We can hit up the last couple here. So yeah. we'll be going to Jacksonville, Florida for another bearded villains competition. This is the first coast villains, St. Patrick's day battle of the beards. Um, it's at a Lynch's Irish pub. Looks like it's going to go for about six hours. It's right on the ocean. In Jacksonville. Ooh, everyone is, bring your swimsuits and your little f- arm floaties. Yep, You can walk out of Boogie Lynch's boards. Irish pub. Put your floaties on and walk right into the ocean. And and see, this is the one benefit that everyone's going to gain from following uh, the beardcalendar.com is if even if you've never done a competition before, this is your one resource where you can find out all the different things. And and as we were saying with the bearded villain things, um, these are events that that we don't normally know about or promote or anything because they they kind of go under our radar and they're hard to find sometimes. Yeah. They, so they don't usually make Facebook event pages. I know that the first coast villains, I'm pretty sure the only reason they made an event page is because I asked them to, so I could link it onto here. So yeah. Yeah. So hopefully this kind of helps everybody find events. And if you're like, where, where, where can I go to a beer competition? Jacksonville, Florida. Well, there you go. It doesn't yeah. matter if it's a villains comp. Who cares? We're, we should all just be helping each other out. Yeah, definitely. And then the last one you have here is the Pahrump. Pahrump, Nevada. This is Patrick Dawson's competition. Obviously, he has a bunch of help. With Speaking him, of Patrick Dawson, who won in the goatee category? This I week? can't remember. Uh, I, I can't remember. I've been trying to think, like, who won the goatee category? can't remember um but yeah we'll, we'll definitely have patrick on and i know he's got a lot of help I'm, I'm not saying that he's the only one putting it on so don't don't come at me with pitchforks but he's you know he's come. the dude we know that's helping putting it on pataluma in 62 62nd annual so hopefully pataluma happens this year I, i've reached out to them and they they said that it should be happening so that'd be good thank you that's mr it. chicken bread um, one, one was it? One last thing I had was gonna say, but now I can't remember. I don't know. That's it. We got forty yeah. seconds. We got forty seconds to sign out. But uh, I want to thank Aaron and Natalie for being here at our our home in uh, Teja and uh, being able to do this uh, together yeah, is this pretty fun. awesome. I, I would be awesome to do it all the time, but uh, we'll do it all the time. I'll just drive here every Tuesday. Yeah, it's super convenient. So don't forget to go to the beardcalendar.com uh and you know if you have a event that you want to submit you can send it to talkingbeards1 
Let's or you just, can just go to the beer calendar and then that little bot thing. Pops oh, there up is. And yeah. And it just sends it a link. It's the beer calendar at yahoo.com. Super. Easy. Oh, wow. That's cool. Or just go to the beer calendar.com. Scroll to the bottom. And it's like, do you, you can comment? Enter? And then it just shows you can up throw. Oh, wow. That's pretty easy. I'm professional. This is great. Go daddy. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> dot com. But uh, yeah, so uh, if you want any more information about the show, go over to uh, TalkingBeards.com. You can subscribe to the podcast. You can do all the fun things there. You can watch old episodes of the show. Um, you can do whatever. There's lots of cool things. You can order some merch from our spring store. Uh, but if you are so inclined. If you're going up a hill. If you're going up a hill, you can go to honestamish.com and when you get your order ready in that cart and you're getting ready to check out you can type in talking beards to get 15 percent off your order today tomorrow and the day after that in fact you know how about just till the end of time yeah to the end of time so also from uh honestamish.com you can get free shipping over 35 dollars Holy crap. So you're telling me that if I ordered like five bottles of premium beard oil, not only would I get $15 off, but I would get free shipping on it. You will get 15% off and free shipping. Oh my, wait, why can't I get free shipping and then 15% off? Because if you're, I don't, you can, you can do, you can do everything. Well, I'm pretty sure that five bottles of oil is going to get me to $35. Gotta go. Okay. <laughs> okay, everybody. Um, uh, Aaron D. Johnson. This is Scott Score. We did it. Have a great night. Look at this guy. Oh my god. That's Jeff so Ray. Good. Look at him smoking that cigar. God. He's doing so good. He's and so good. wait, where was it? Right here. Yeah, that one. That one. Click it. All right. Thanks everyone for tuning in tonight. We love you. Love you. Goodbye. Bye. Thanks for tuning in to Talking Beards. Make sure you go over to honestamish.com and use promo code TALKINGBEARDS to get 15% off your order. Don't forget to tune in live next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern at talkingbeards.com.